<clears throat> All right, let's get it, Black Goose TV family. What's good with it? I got another reaction video for y'all. So here we are. Tyson Fury. Obviously, he had the open workout for Dillian White. Dillian White did not show up. There was a reason behind that. Obviously, I had a video and I dropped and I talked about that. And I said I respected Dillian White for the reason that he didn't. So I'm not going to sit here and I'm going to say anything negative when it comes to Dillian White not showing up for the open workout. You know what I'm saying? That is what it is. If you want to see my opinion about it, y'all can check the other video. For this, though, we're going to be taking a look at Tyson Fury to see how he looks, how everything is working. Because once again, I'm going to reiterate. I'm going to reestablish. I'm going to repeat myself. Whatever word that works for y'all. Y'all see the three different iterations or the three different, you know what I'm saying? That's vocabulary at its finest. Yeah, y'all don't know, man. I'm, I'm... Anyways, look, whatever y'all want to call it, last time we saw Tyson Fury, he was fighting Deontay Wilder, right? Three times, right? We're talking about in the span of two to three years, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it was three years, maybe like two and a half, two, whatever. But Tyson Fury, as of now, before the Wilder fight, he was known for the Klitschko fight, correct? Yes, absolutely. Now he's known for the Wilders fight, right? And what I do see when it comes to some of the boxing community, and I actually respect it, is saying that as much as we want to say Tyson Fury is the greatest, it, like Tyson Fury to me is like KD of the, of, the, of the basketball world, of the NBA world. Now just rock with me for a minute because I know probably some of y'all watching this, y'all not you know basketball fans like that. But the reason I say that is because from the eye test, when you look at this dude, 6'9", he can do it all. He can box from the outside. <laughs> Use his footwork, get out the way, use his defense, Muhammad Ali, duck under, do all these amazing things. But then also we see him against a knockout artist, a knockout artist, baby. And Deontay Wilder, he's able to, you know, press forward and, you know, come forward and, 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 and put the knockout artist on his back foot and knock him out like that. We're basically talking about someone who can do it all at the heavyweight division, which um, is very rare. It's usually one or the other, you know, say give or take because we're talking about big boys. So from the eye test. Like, this is the greatest heavyweight ever. This motherfucker's a beast, right? Um, and that's similar to what KD, at least in my opinion, from the eye test. Like a seven-foot dude who can do everything that a guard can do. Um, it, you know, saying it's unheard of to an extent. It's, you know, somebody say, you know, LeBron, but I'm talking about everything. Like, sh like everything naturally coming to him. He didn't have to. Let me take that back. Everything looking looks like it naturally came to him. Like when you watch LeBron's game in certain, ex you know, aspects, you know, number respect LeBron. But. In certain aspects, like he worked for that, and you know, if he was a he was a fan over time, he got it. But KD from day one, he just had it all. But anyways, I'm not gonna go along with it in that. All I'm saying is, from the eye test, you look at Tyson Fury, and you're just like, he's the best. I've never seen a heavyweight with this type of skill set. But um, if you are going to stand by your morals, if you're gonna stand by your boxing uh, uh, integrity. And how you judge all these other boxers that you don't like and these other people. And you always come down to the fact that just because to the eye test, they don't look pleasantly uh, appealing. You say their resume doesn't stack up to everybody else's. So he's not that good. So, you know what I'm saying? You can't have one or the other. We got to go ahead and take a look at it. Put it all in front of us and let's decipher it. And when we look at Tyson Fury, um, his resume isn't the greatest, right? Clicks go was his best win. Um before that, Derek Chisora was probably his best win. Um, now, Deontay Wilder's the best win. And in that same breath, the people who try to claim Tyson Fury to be the best heavyweight ever are the same people who try to say Deontay Wilder isn't that good. So how is your best win someone you guys say isn't that good? Uh, but yet, you claim Tyson Fury to be the best ever, but that's his best win on his resume. It is. That's the best win. You guys are going to be like, no, Klitschko is the better win. Da, da, da. Yeah, I never respected Klitschko, so chill. Anyways, let's get into this reaction video because I've talked a little bit too much and a lot of you guys may go ahead and expect because I'm coming at y'all man's Tyson Fury. So y'all gonna be down below like, nigga, ah. so I understand, man, y'all can have y'all beef with me. It is what it is. But with that being said, let's take a look at how Tyson Fury is looking. And by the way, the big point of this also is I'm interested to see what he ends up weighing in at for this particular fight because we know. Um, you know, certain, you know, weighing a certain weight was a big deal for him when it came to the Deontay Wilder fight, when it came to at least him feeling like, hey, we're going to be able to implement the plan that we have in place. So as of now, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, we got this little st standstill right here. He looks in great shape. Let's go. That's about 270. By the way, no, no audio for this bad boy because uh, it's music. So uh, I'm just going to talk y'all through it. You feel me? So hopefully I'll rock with me with it. Um, so uh, as of now, right off the bat, Tyson Fury looks in great shape. I would say it looks about 270, 272, maybe 265. He doesn't look under 270, to be 100 with you. 
and also he's boxing for Southpaw. So I don't know if you guys uh, have watched it yet. If you checked it out, I don't know what order I'm going to be dropping these videos, but I also did a video um, or a reaction video to Ter Terrence Crawford's new uh, training video, and he was boxing in Southpaw the entirety of that particular video, and he's a natural orthodox. Now we see in this particular open workout, Tyson Fury doing the same. He's boxing in orthodox the entirety. Well, I don't know if it's entirety, but I'm assuming that it's going to be in the entirety of this video because he started off in orthodox. Um, so uh, it's a smart move from Tyson Fury, just like I complimented Daniel White. You not showing up for the open workouts. Not necessarily you don't want to give away anything, okay? Look, these guys have been boxers and professionals for a long period of time. Uh, it's hard to argue that they're going to bring anything new to the table, right? Uh, but at the same time, conditioning can always be something that can be new to the table, if that makes sense. I can always come in better conditioning than I did last time. So, and then also, Dillian White doesn't want to necessarily have anything come up or be brought into play that he doesn't want to deal with. I'm not going to go too deep into it. I already dropped a video about that. He just wasn't engaged in those type of things. There's no type of time for that. So with that being said, Tyson Fury, his team is probably like, hey, Dillian White didn't even show up to open workouts. Obviously, he doesn't want to really show you what he's been working on or how he looks currently. So we're going to do the same thing. Let's go ahead and just box the entire time for Southpaw because obviously you're not going to be doing that during the fight. So he can't, it'd be, he can't watch this and pick up on anything. The only thing you can pick up on is what type of shape you are in. And, uh, you know, you can always go a positive route and, be like, if you're in great shape, if you look in great shape, if you look in better shape than you did against Wilder, shit, he can't, he can't take anything other than that, that, that he has to train harder, right? And in my opinion right now, he does look a little bit better in shape than all of the Wilder fights except the first one. Um, he looks, in, he looks, he looks, he looks like he's been training all, uh, all year. Looks like he hasn't taken a, a day off, in my opinion. Looks very good from Southpaw. Looks powerful. Um, you can see he's waiting a little bit longer for the combinations at Southpaw, obviously, because not naturally a Southpaw, like in the difference that I see with Tyson Fury and Terrence Crawford being a Southpaw, not only because uh, Tyson Fury is a much bigger man. So I'm not talking about that, obviously. Uh, I'm not stupid. But even with that being said, you can tell Terrence Crawford is a little bit more naturally a Southpaw fighter than Tyson Fury is, right? You know, it, it, it's very subtle, uh, but you can see that I think, in my opinion, if Terrence Crawford wanted to, he can say, hey, I'm a Southpaw fighter, and I switched to orthodox. In my opinion, when it comes to Tyson Fury, he's always going to have to say, I'm an orthodox fighter. I can switch to Southpaw, if that makes sense. But working on that right check, left hook, um, I like that a lot. It's going to keep Dillian White unbalanced. Um, having that switch, going Southpaw, going orthodox, even if he doesn't even want to do it um, mid, uh, excuse me, he, even if he doesn't want to play with both, he, like mid-round, and he wants to kind of do the Terrence Crawford route, which, um, you know, he goes, you know, four or five rounds in orthodox, and he'll switch to southpaw to really put the beating down. I think that would be more beneficial for Tyson Fury against a guy like Dillian White than maybe switching it up, like, in between rounds, et cetera, um, like you usually see him do. I would love to see Tyson Fury come out in the beginning in southpaw and then switch it up to orthodox, maybe, like, fourth, fifth round, or if he feels like he got in danger. The only thing that's dangerous about that, though, especially because a guy like Dillian White, is the fact that one of Dillian White's best uh, punches, that check left hook, uh, and as you can see in that southpaw stance, that check left hook is going to be a lot easier to get to in comparison to um, him being in an orthodox stance. Because him being in an orthodox stance, uh, he'll be able to use that jab hand. He'll be able to keep him at range. Boom, boom, boom. So even though my hand may be lower in this orthodox stance, it's going to be much harder for you to get that check left hook on me because you have to cover more distance. Now, when I'm in the ortho, excuse me, when I'm in the southpaw stance, I am using that jab. But at the same time, you got to understand if your jab hand is here, this is where my face is. If I now switch to orthodox, right? Do you see how slightly my head position, my head, my, my head position is here now. I switched to orthodox. Now my head position is here to an extent. So I'm a little bit closer to be caught by that check left hook on an orthodox fighter. Also, you got to understand, on an orthodox fighter, I always have this to catch that check left hook, right? I'm here, boom, boom, boom. I'm working, working. Here comes the check left hook. Bow. Catch it on the glove. Well, I'm southpaw, hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm hoping I'm not doing bad uh, 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 reaction video right now. But when I'm at southpaw, he can catch me over the top of a lazy jab. So if I miscalculate range or distance and I do a lazy jab, it takes a lot longer for me to throw a jab and then come back and catch a check left hook than it does for me to throw a jab from this and have this already ready to be here. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. I'm sorry if that was long-winded, but y'all. But regardless of all that shit I just said, Tyson Fury looks, looks good. He looks good, looks in good shape. Looks like he's going to come out strong. Um, he's going to be on his toes. Looks like he's going to box from the outside. Do you want to know something that's actually interesting? Hopefully if you guys make it to this point, you notice it. 
it doesn't seem like his game plan for this particular fight against Dillian White is going to be the same against Deontay Wilder. What do I mean by that? It looks like he's going to be working off his back foot a little bit more, working off that range, catching him at the end of the punches. Why? Why would Tyson Fury now not want to push Dillian White back when he doesn't have as much power as Deontay? Because there's a difference. You know what you can do with that check left hook that you can't do with that right hand? You can throw that thing on your back foot and generate the same amount of power. Actually, you can generate more off that back foot, right? You can't generate that same amount of power with that right hand backing up. You need to come forward with that right hand. But that left hook, if you're pushing me back, oh, I can be like, shot, yeah, and have more power coming this way than I do have coming this way, right? A lot of people would say standing firm, leaning back, throwing that left hook is going to have a lot more power generated than me doing a leaping left hook, right? So just keep that in mind. It's a whole different fight for Tyson. But with that being said, um, enjoyed the video. Tyson looks in good shape. Sugar Hill uh, looks nice and spry for his age. You know what I'm saying? Uh, salute to both of them. I can't wait for this fight. What do you guys think about anything I said? Hopefully I wasn't too much for y'all. Um, but I'm feeling good at this point. I'm definitely on the fluent side of the game. That's why they call me. But I love y'all. Appreciate y'all, Black Goose family. I'm going to be back tomorrow. Y'all know what it is. I got a couple more videos, though, for y'all, too. So y'all look out for those. Like the motherfucking video. Don't be scared to like the video. I told y'all don't be scared to like the video. Comment, comment, comment. Subscribe to the channel. If you're not part of the family, man, be part of the family, man. It's the most love you'll ever get from a boxing community. Also, this is the most insightful shit you'll ever get from a boxing community. You know what I'm saying? With some bullshit attached to it, with some realness, man. We different over here. You already know what it is. If you ain't noticed it yet, you will. And if you got any shit to talk, talk that shit. Who cares, man? It's life. It's part of the game. Love y'all. Appreciate it.